कुछ हम रोटी खा रहे हैं सो आई वॉन्ट नाउ ब्रिंग इन माई कॉलिग कमलजीत संधु इज ऑल्सो ट्रैकिंग द लेटेस्ट ऑन दैट कमलजीत यू नो दिस इज नॉट एन आइसोलेटेड इंसिडेंट एनी मोर सिमिलर इंसिडेंट एंड सैडली इन द रजौरी सेक्टर बेल्ट आर टेकिंग प्लेस एम्बुस्ड एज वेल प्रीवियसली वी रिमेंबर इट्स बीन द पास टू ईयर्स विद अ फोकस वाइल्ड वॉज कश्मीर विच इज बिकमिंग नया कश्मीर बट इट्स द जम्मू रीजन सैडली which had been relatively peaceful where the terrorists are clearly changing their strategy what are the details that you hear of this ambush and what precisely do you think the security agencies are looking at it now as well puja one you are absolutely right uh, because remember there has been a tactical shift from kashmir uh, especially to the punch rajouri area now we know that the army had launched a operation in thana mandi in rajouri area on the 20th and even as two vehicles were moving to an operational area in dera ki gali in bufliaz uh, that is when they came under ambush and uh, our sources indicate to us that three to four terrorists could have been there uh, who fired upon and that is where there was an exchange of fire unfortunately however uh, we've been told that four soldiers were killed in action uh, the operation is very much on senior officers are on the spot uh, but as you were mentioning it uh, this is an area if you count rajouri punch suran kot area uh, this is where uh, over uh, a dozen incidents have happened over the past two years and we've been told that this particular module is the same module uh, which is responsible for the earlier attacks as well and we've been told by our sources uh, that there are possibly two pakistanis and one uh, uh, one kashmiri who's part of it one local and uh, the sort of uh, operation that they participate in Uh, the modus operandi is uh, that they remain dormant uh, for for uh, a few months uh, they carry on their uh, recce they carry on the targets and that is when uh, they strike especially during a day time even this particular incident happened at 3:45 pm and this is where uh, it's it's not in the dead of the night or it's not uh, during the late hours uh, so this is in clear day visibility when uh, there is least expectation of a fire coming in but the modus operandi is now known and we been told by top sources that over 20 soldiers have been killed in the past two years and if this particular module is neutralized they said uh, by 80% uh, the entire count would come down uh, but meanwhile the challenges now in the past one year we've seen uh, operations like three netra being carried out in especially uh, around the suran kot uh, punch area this is close to the line of control and that is when uh, they wanted to flush out terrorists uh, but meanwhile we've seen uh, that uh, the terrorism as you're saying a tactical shift with militancy coming in over here uh, terrorism coming in over here after a long gap uh, because meanwhile we've seen uh, kashmir uh, where the incidents have actually come down but here uh, we've seen uh, whether uh, and i remember just about a year ago uh, we were in in dhangri area of rajouri where terrorists had attacked uh, the minorities the hindus uh, uh, hindu families and towards the year end uh, another dastardly attack and this time an ambush on two of the army vehicles uh, so clearly a vast challenge because the area the terrain uh, the foliage uh, itself gives a lot of escape value to these particular terrorists who can go inside the greenery and even if the drones are flown it's really difficult to spot them mm. uh, but this particular group uh, we been told from the path kamal ji stay on with me uh, stay on with me kamal ji i can see is uh, on route that location that site and uh, kamal i'll continue to come to you i'm also joined by sunil ji but who's uh, uh, in uh, rajouri right now and in fact very close to where the site is sunil over to you right now uh, has the area been cordoned off completely what is the highway looking like precisely is there constant checks with regard to uh, the the vehicles uh, movement as well but what a terrible tragedy this should not have happened at all and this perhaps isn't it a reason for the security agencies as defense experts are saying to have a relook of how terrorists are changing their strategy and managing to do recce they knew that the army vehicles will come to this curve and slow down absolutely puja uh, right now we are standing uh, in thanamandi area of rajouri district and uh, 
right near this spot yesterday an army vehicle was uh, you know targeted in fact two vehicles of the army were targeted uh, by the terrorists who were hiding uh, in the forest area and uh, uh, puja uh, you can see the terrain around this particular area it's uh, this uh, area is surrounded by mountains dense forests so it becomes very challenging for the security forces to carry out uh, a counter terror operation and right now here uh, in the outer cordon we can see that crpf jawans have been deployed jammu and kashmir police personnel have been deployed and this is being done to ensure that terrorists don't manage to flee uh, from this area so uh, all precautions are being taken and the security forces whether it's the indian army jammu and kashmir police crpf they are working in uh, close coordination they are working shoulder to shoulder and the priority is to neutralize the terrorists as soon as possible but uh, puja given the terrain of this region uh, it has become very challenging for the security forces and in the last two years we are seeing a pattern that time and again uh, terrorists are carrying out attacks on security forces terrorists are targeting civilians and counters are taking place in the twin border districts of rajouri and punch and it seems now that these areas have once again become the hot bed of terrorism in jammu and kashmir because after the abrogation of article 370 and 35a there was a massive crackdown on terrorism and terror ecosystem in the kashmir valley funding of separatists was choked and uh, there were good results in the kashmir valley top commanders were also eliminated of terror groups but now pakistan is focusing on the hilly areas of jammu region and this is being done because it becomes very challenging for security forces to neutralize the terrorists who are hiding in forest can, areas can you show and us around the area can you show us around if possible if convenient to you because i want the viewer to also understand the kind of terrain that there is how the how these terrorists clearly took the position atop a hill so that they could know and see when the army vehicles were crossing when they would slow down possible if for you go ahead sunil well puja uh, the attack uh, that took place yesterday between bafliyas and dera ki gali is not very far from the spot where we are right now media is not being allowed to proceed from further proceed further from this particular spot but i just want to show you the terrain of this entire area look at the terrain uh, these areas are surrounded by dense forest Uh, mountains and at times the visibility is also very low and uh, but puja the uh, chilly winds are blowing right now here temperature is very low and just imagine how our security forces are operating in these difficult areas so uh, it's going to take time puja as far as this counter terror operation is going to uh, you know if, if, as far as this counter terror operation is concerned but uh, tragically we have lost four of our brave hearts uh, although uh, you know a short while ago news agency pti is saying that one more jawan has come but the army is yet to confirm uh, that but we will stick to the official version of the army four jawans uh, have attained martyrdom and three others are injured the injured jawans have been taken uh, to the northern uh, co army command uh, commands you know uh, hospital in udampur district but right now we can see that there is deployment of security forces here they are part of the outer cordon uh, jammu and kashmir police personnel as well as crpf jawans are here they have been deployed here in the outer cordon so that terrorists don't manage to flee and uh, puja i have been talking to my sources in the security establishment um, i have got this information that three to four terrorists carried out this dastardly terror attack on the uh, you know uh, the security forces yesterday two army vehicles were targeted and the uh, terrorists had done a proper recce so this was a pre planned conspiracy they had done a proper recce and they had chosen this particular area specifically deliberately because they knew that there was a blind curve and all the vehicle that pass through that area they have to slow down their speed and only after that they can negotiate with that curve and when those army vehicles reach that particular spot they slow down the speed and terrorists who were hiding atop the hill they fired at the army vehicles first the drivers of the army vehicles were targeted they were shot dead on the spot and then they uh, you know rained bullets on the army vehicles uh, and as a result of that we lost 
four of a our reminder. brave hearts. This is a reminder for us that right. remember that it's not just about fighting at the border, even in areas where the convoy is passing through. And this is the Jammu region, which was earlier relatively peaceful. The terrorists have found ways to not only infiltrate base themselves. And just for the background, for the viewer to know, this is very close to the Pakistan border. The mountains, the hills that you see around, just barely a few kilometers from there is the borderline. And that's why they've found passage and that's why a lot of review will be needed. These are the casualties that must be avoided at all costs. And terrible tragedy, four soldiers killed in action to ensure that our borders are kept safe. These are the areas where they are deployed. And a reminder of the soldiers' sacrifices that continue in JNK. Sunil Ji Bhatt, Kamaljeet Sandhu will be tracking all the latest on that.